Hey, so I see you're definitely a Gilbert Arenas fan. He got traded the other day, so what were your first, your initial reaction to that? Uh, well, I was sad to see him go, but I think they had to get rid of his contract, so. My initial reaction was actually uh, bittersweet, almost more verging on sadness. You know, I've, I've had a lot of happy memories with uh, Gilbert Arenas, the hibachi. Right. He's been a fun player, uh, great personality. You know, a lot of people thought he was, uh, uh, you know, a little bit boneheaded, and he's had his mistakes, but let's not forget that this is a player that brought us to the playoffs almost single-handedly. I thought it was good for Gil, you know, he has uh, gone through a lot the last couple of years, so give him an opportunity. At the same time for the Wizards, we needed a new breed, you know, he wasn't meshing with the unit, I think they're playing better now. I was kind of excited, actually, I like Richard Lewis' three-point shooter, we need a deadly three-point shooter outside, John Wall inside, flashing it, and then kicking Kick out Charlotte Lewis, three-pointer, deadly. I like the trade. Give John Wall full ball control. You know, I'm sad. You know, the man played hard for us, you know. He played his heart out. Had uh, all those buzzer beaters, you know. Great guy. Uh, he pulled a Bron Bron, man. He quit on us. That's, ba that's basically what he did, you know. He was our main main star player, and then he quit on us. I mean, he had to go. It was to the point where it's John Wall's team, you know. I went to the, I actually live out in L.A. now, and I went to the Laker Wizards game out there, and like they were on the court at the same time. And John Wall's trying to shoe him away, and Gilbert, they just they couldn't coexist. I purchased the jersey and found out that night that they traded him. Oh, so your first Arena's jersey was purchased yes. <laughs> on Saturday. She, she didn't want yeah. the Karan Butler jersey because she, she don't play with no more. <laughs> Arena's still there, and then she got his jersey, then went home that night. He was gone. Arenas' legacy, what what kind of comes to mind first? You know, it's going to be the guns. You know, it's a shame because, you know, he had some really, you know, a couple good years here. Um, I remember I was here on Martin Luther King Day one day against Utah. He had a uh, game winner at the buzzer. Right. And he really did bring excitement. You know, they made it to the second round of the playoffs, which they've done once since I think I've been alive. But uh, at the end of the day, he just at the end, it just kind of fizzled the injuries. And, the uh, you know, ever since he signed that contract, it's been basically worthless. Is that what do you think is legacy? Legacy is going to be more the the guns and the pranks more than his game-winning uh, shots, or well in DC, I'm sure it will be. Yeah. I mean, his reputation is basically torn here. I don't think anyone's going to remember him for the game-winning shots more than right his reckless behavior. How are people going to remember? Buzzer him? beaters, man. Agent Zero, dude. I was a big fan, man. He was, that, this was his city for a long time. You know, I think the gun thing probably ruined his legacy in this town, but I think a lot of people will miss him. I think about injuries, actually. So I think of what could have been, because, you know, he could have been the game-winning shots. The last couple of years just showed his immaturity. I think people are going to remember the good times with Gilbert over the bad. Uh, nobody really thinks about the money so much as they do about the performance on the court. And overall, he was a really fun and exciting player to watch. I mean, this is a guy who dropped 60 points on the reigning championship Lakers uh, in L.A. And uh, I just remember so many exciting moments from him, and I'm sure the rest of the city does too, and always will. Most of the time, people don't remember the bad, the, the good stuff. Yeah. They always remember the bad stuff more than. So I think that's going to stick out more because, like you said, you be at your job, you do something real well. Most of the time, you do 20 things well. They don't really realize that, but once you do that one bad thing, it, steps, it stands out. I always remember the good stuff. Actually, I always remember his 60-point game against Los Angeles. Never forget that. Actually, Gilbert. Good memories, Gilbert. Good memories. So now, now you got your John Wall jersey. You're, you're solidified, a big John Wall fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, they gave it to me, so okay. you know, <laughs> I take it. But I am a John Wall fan. Actually, last year, that's the only way I was going to renew my season tickets if we got them. And so it was a luck. Right. You know, we got lucky, so we need something in the Washington area because all our teams suck right now. Plus, Gilbert just wore it as welcome. You know, for John Wall's development, I think it's a much better, uh, much better trade. But at the end of the day, the only guy on this team who's going to be around in five years for a decent team is probably John Wall. Everyone else is expendable. My fame, saying I drum well and I don't need to know their name. I'm Matt Fairley, I'm from Frederick, Maryland. It's about an hour from here. Great place. Bill Moyes, I'm from Germantown, Maryland. My name's Tom, I'm from DC, Upper Northwest. It's a pretty sweet jacket you got, Tom. How long have you how long have you had that? 
Uh, this is actually a family heirloom, I'd say. My brother's had it since the 80s. Okay. Back when we were the Bullets, the, the wonderful Bullets. I hope uh, Ted Leonsis brings it back, by the way. I'm uh, Ty, and uh, I'm from Idaho originally, but I live in D.C. My name is Daniel Hawkins. I'm from the, we're from the Washington, D.C. area. Uh, Okay. okay. How long have you been a fan of the franchise? Oh, I've been a fan for the Wizards Club ever since they changed the name almost from the Bullets. Right, right. So probably it's been a while. My name's Andrew. I'm from Potomac, Maryland. All right. I see you got your uh, your John Wall shirt on. How long have you been a fan of the team? I've been a fan since I was five or six years old. I've been to Bullets games in the old USA Arena. You got your your Wizards shirt on. So how long? What's your name and how long you've been a uh, fan? Been a Wizards fan for all my life, man. Uh, I've been a Bullets fan since C Web. What's up, number four C Web? And uh, just been uh, kind of upset about the Wizards' new name, but that's why I represent still Bullets. Right, right. But I still love the Wizards always, always, always been a fan.